Okay, today I am going to talk about a different kind of knife than what I've been showing you guys in my collection. So, you guys normally see that I like my assisted chair shaws. Let me grab another nut. We're gone to the And I haven't shown you guys this before, but uh, yeah, someone went so happy with sharpening. Yeah, and isn't that ridiculous? But today I'm not going to be talking about those. I'm going to be talking about... my lightning OTF so I got this lightning when I was in Florida on vacation I paid well I overpaid for it but with tax and shipping and everything it would have been somewhat the same price it was like 38 bucks on this with shipping from somewhere it can be about 30 to 35 that I've seen. So, I'm going to get my mat real quick so you can see the mat. So now you can see this knife a little bit better. So, this knife, yeah, it's so much fun to play with. The only downside to this is right here on the button they're kind of like worn away a little bit so I can easily just move my finger on and off but I can still fire every time from every angle imaginable I don't think you can see that very well but so this is a super cheap but really nice OTF that you can get. Pocket clip is tipped down. No. Yeah. It's tipped down, but it doesn't really matter because Yeah, it goes literally out the same way that you pull it out of your pocket. I like tip-up carry a lot, and most of my knives are tip-up carry, but enough blabbering about that. So you can usually get these for about like 25 bucks off of the internet. The steel, I have no idea, I heard people say it was like equivalent to like 440, I don't know if it was A, B, or C. But a 440, maybe 420. I don't use this as much because in Ohio, you're technically not allowed to carry them or any automatic knife. Even like these push buttons, you're not supposed to carry. But do not tattle on me because I do. I do like it a lot. Just the grinds were awful on it, so I have to resharpen it. But I mainly got it as a first OTF so that I could just play with it. And it is known as a double action all um, single actions either have a slide button a push button on the side where it'll just fire it right out which is nice but then you have to hold the button and then slide a slider back all the way on the Microtech Halos you press the button 
and then you pulled the bottom part all the way down so you get a huge ass knife about this long well you can't see it in my hand but it was like a foot in length on average but what I like about a double action is you take a hold of the blade never hold it like this do not do this this firmly grasp it and then pull back on the button and it'll disengage the blade and then all you have to do is pull the blade back out now you don't have to yank it all you have to do is gently go like that it'll click into place and it's good to go so I am going to take this knife apart because someone asked me to do that and I don't really see this often on YouTube where people take an OTF apart I don't know if Nick Shabazz has yet but let me tell you this is ridiculously easy you have these six screws that are very blatant, blatant and obvious they are size T8 so I'm going to take my Kershaw D tool one two and so on until you get to six in the comments below please let me know if you have a lightning OTF or tell me what your favorite OTF is if you even like them I personally really like them I got to hold a Microtech in Florida while I was looking at this knife I was ecstatic over it but I did not have the $300 to pay for it so I got all the screws out and then all you have to do is take the plate off it comes off very easy and all this is is pretty dirty yeah, you can see that I've played with it a lot you can see that the button fell off I don't know if this is a metal or a plastic I feel like it's a plastic but you can see that it's worn off a little bit especially on the corners it's not as grippy as it used to be so right here is the magic you see the two springs here You can just lift that up. It's probably easier from this side. There's nothing on this side. This is where the button sits. And this pulls it back and pushes forward. The blade. I've never really gotten to go out to come out but I pulled the blade back all the way so you can see how this works hopefully yeah there you go there's this little part right here there's a little spring inside of there and up here is the same thing Right up there. Right now, this doesn't move. The spring, I'm not going to put this back on, but the spring goes on this side of the blade and it will shoot the blade out. It will overcome the spring tension and hold on. I'm going to make it. There you go. And now it's absolutely locked now you can 
you can hear the amount of blade play. And you are going to have that blade play for, I'm pretty sure, every $40 OTF. And this little lever acts the same exact way. You pull it back and it overcomes that spring tension. And then it shoots it all the way back there and it locks it in place. It's fairly simple. I think it's pretty easy. And I haven't put any lube in here because quite honestly it worked fine without lube and I feel like it would just slow this action down a lot so I'm not gonna worry about it so to put it back together you take the one side of the spring you pull the other one over there This is a much better explanation right here. This little fin pushes down on that and it shoots the blade all the way up. And then once you pull once you pull this back, it goes all the way. There we go. and it holds it right there so all you have to do is pull it back here's the fin on this side that pushes this lever back make sure when you put it back together you have it in its neutral state Make sure to put the button back in there so that it clicks and then you put that back on. Before I put the screws back on, yep, there it works. These are pretty hard to mess up. So yeah, I like to put the screws back in a better torts space. I want to school to become a General Motors technician. And what I learned was that you properly put screws back in the right spot or else things won't work the way they're supposed to. I haven't exactly found a problem with which way the screws go. And then right here, it, it doesn't matter which one you go in the middle. I just always like to make sure to go corner to corner, corner to corner. And then the middle doesn't really matter. This is just a knife. It's not an engine head. Well, cylinder head. So it doesn't really matter. And there we go. Then my camera is shaking a lot. So yeah. You're still going to have that blade play, but it's 40 bucks.
most people are going to get the $40 OTF knives to say that they have an OTF and they're going to play with it a lot like I do. Now you can go out and get a Microtech and you can use that for as long as you live. This, if I beat on it, it's probably only going to last a couple years. This is just aluminum. Probably the bad grade of aluminum, but you know what? For 40 bucks, you get a pretty comfortable knife in a lot of ways that you hold it. Now this is only set up for a right hand tip down only, but that's okay because most people aren't going to carry them. They're just going to have it in their collection to represent an OTF and that's where mine is going. So I hope that you guys liked it. This was a request from a viewer from Metal Complex. If you guys have not watched a single Metal Complex video, please do it. He is very entertaining. He he has some dry humor, but I don't have the best sense of humor. But if you get me going, I'm said to be pretty funny. I snap back with comments a lot more times than I want to admit. But a lot of times I win arguments that way because I just say something completely stupid and they just can't think of anything else and I just win. But as I was saying, if you haven't watched a Metal Complex video, please do it. Please consider subscribing. He is a really funny dude. He is extremely nice. He knows quite a bit about knives. What I like about him is that he doesn't have so many expensive knives where he won't do a uh, budget knife. Like these, I will do all day because that's where my budget is. And quite honestly, these just work for me every day. And my most expensive knife is a Griptilian. And I'm having a lot of fun. I'm slowly getting up there. But his good buddy Jeff, who actually lives near me, he gets him so many awesome knives. So if you want to take my advice on a new uh, channel, please check out Metal Complex. He just passed 7,000 subscribers, so good job to him. I probably have 30 subscribers now. I am ecstatic. I can't wait until I get more. I do have an Instagram. It's Ohio underscore lover. No, excuse me. Ohio underscore knife underscore lover. So, check out my Instagram if you'd like. I think I have 82 or 83 posts. Some of them are memes. Some of them are just pictures. Some of them are cats. And please, if you aren't looking at Instagram for knives, please consider doing that because there's so many good people out there. I'm just one of them that is a pretty much a novice. I just started this channel. And I'm loving every bit of it. Because I can comment on everyone's uh, comments. Well, I can reply on everyone's comments. And it's just a lot of fun for me to do. Because, you know, I don't... I'm not that knowledgeable about knives. But the ones that I do have, I have so many opinions on. I've carried them for years so far. And... 
it's just honestly fun to talk about something that you have a passion for. And my knife addiction has, I want to say about five years strong now. I have maybe 60 knives in my collection. Uh, most of them are cheapy. Like... This $2 fixed blade from Walmart. It's actually ridiculously comfortable. Ridiculously light. And you know what? If I break it, I don't care. I can go get a new one. Like one of these. I will probably pick another one up. Maybe another lightning. Maybe I will go up in price. But for right now, this is all I need. This is fun to play with. It's fun to irritate my family. And you know what? A lot of people will ask you what kind of knives you have. And if you say a Lightning OTF, they're like, oh, you have one of those? But to me, this is so much more fun than a Microtech right now because... This is cheap. If I lose it, I don't care. I'll go get a new one. If I lose a Microtech, I will cry my ass off. Because those things go for over 200 minimum. Granted, they are some of the best, if not the best, OTF knives I have ever seen in my life. But this is a good start. This is where I recommend everyone going. So yeah, I hope that you guys like this video. If you did, please like. If you didn't, please dislike. It really helps me understand what you guys like and what you don't like. So yeah, this has been Ohio Knife Lover. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.